Hello and welcome to episode two of... I'm going to just look at the mic when I talk. That is the best way to do a video podcast. Welcome to... <clears throat> Onward. Onwards is what it's called. Um, where I talk about words. Last episodes we talked... Episode... I'm very good at words. That's why I have this show. Um, last episode, we talked about uh, the word pizza, and we discovered a lot about pizza. And I won't get into all of it. If you would like to catch up, I suggest you do. It's a fantastic, fantastic episode that might blow your mind and change your life forever. It is available um, wherever <coughs> podcasts are. They're on the internet, I believe. <coughs> Man, uh, I really should have not eaten so much mucus-producing food before I <laughs> began this. <laughs> anyway, so on today's episode of Onwards, um, our word. Yes, you've all been waiting for it. <sighs> it's a good word. It's a word that we all love. We love it. And that word, that word is, hold on please. I am very prepared for this. That word is very prepared, of course. I prepare always beforehand. That word is being written in the stars. <clears throat> that word is booger. That's probably backwards. Ha <laughs> That's right. The word is booger. Now, on onward, of course, as we all know, words have deep, powerful meaning, magical like uh, qualities, if you will. And like many words, the word booger is actually an older word um, than you than your grandma. It's older than your grandma. Um, the actual definition may surprise you. It may. Okay? The word booger, and this is how it's pronounced. Booger. Wait, what? Say that again? Booger. 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 Wait a, wait a god darn second. Booger. Are you hearing? Booger. Are you hearing this? It's booger. Booger. I think she's saying booger. <clears throat> like a like a ghost tiger. Booger. A boot a booger. Pfft, what the hell? Well any in any event, the definition for uh I guess booger is one, a piece of dried nasal mucus. Hmm. Interesting. Or it's also another term for a boogeyman, which is a scary, scary man covered in boogies or boogers. Um, <clears throat> let's let's dig in. <laughs> let's dig in, shall we, and uncover what boogers really are. Theme music. <laughs> boogers. <clears throat> Um, booger. Bo okay, so first off, the pronunciation I had for booger was incorrect my entire life. I am 33 years old. I have been saying booger, booger, buh, for 33 years, for less than that, because I could not talk until I was of the age of seven. <clears throat> anyway, um, bug, bug. Boo. It's booger. For all those out there, there is a uh, up, there's a smiley face accent mark over the O's, which means elongate them. 
Booger. 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 Now let's see. <clears throat> let's see what the origin origin of booger is. Booger origin. <clears throat> okay. So um the late nineteenth century, perhaps an alteration of bugger or bogey. Bogey. Um bogey, of course, being bogey and bugger both being English words. Um which is good to know. I'm speaking English and not some form of um, heresy of the Eastern Bloc. Bloc? <sighs> that word. Um, booger. Now, it's interesting. Um, for, for, here's a, here's a, uh, another, another, uh, tasty morsel. Another bite size, uh, a booger size morsel of information for you here on the word booger. For booger, it is known that the snot goober since showed up in print in the late 1800s, but that a goblin boogeyman sense was known more than a half century sooner. The former sense, here, the former sense likely comes from bogey and bogart, and other similar words for things that go boo. Oh, boogie and bogart. I wonder if a bugatti. Is a th it's a car, but if it's named after a booger, a boo a bugatti, a booger ati, it's a very fast booger. It's the world's fastest booger, made in Italian. <clears throat> Why is it called? The reason it's called booger. This is a interesting fact. <clears throat> Mucus is the sticky, slimy stuff that's made inside your nose, airways, and even your digestive tract. If you're like a lot of kids, you have another name for nose mucus. Snot. No, you do. It's snot. <laughs> when the mucus, dirt, and other debris get dry and clumped together, you're left with booger. Now this... This is what most people in the biz, in showbiz, call um, upside down, uh, in the rain, dirt candy. It's a long, it's a long-winded name, but Hollywood is sexy like that. Okay, we like to long-wind it. Um, I'm interested to know. I, I, I also believe that it being an English word for bo bogey or uh, bogeyman. Um, where who was the first bogeyman? You know, uh, hey Bixby, hey Bixby, that's not gonna work. Hey Google, who was the first boogeyman? Let's see, boogeyman. This is. This is what interests me the most, you see, because <clears throat> if not for Boogie Man, there would be no Boogie Hand. That's exactly what you knew I was going there. The Boogie Man, also spelled Boogie Man, Boogie Man, it's Boogie Man, Boogie Monster or Boogie Man. So when I read out the way it's spelled and it sounds the same, it's only because it's the same word spelled differently. But they're different spellings. So trust that. Trust that. Um, okay, is the boogeyman is a mythical creature used by adults to frighten children into good behavior. <gasps> adults made up the boogeyman, those monsters. The boogeyman has no specific appearance, and conceptions vary drastically by household and culture, but is commonly depicted as a masculine or androgynous monster. He does steroids. That punishes children for misbehavior. The boogeyman, or a somewhat related creature, can be found in every culture and is used for scaring children into good behavior. Boogeyman may target a specific act or general misbehavior, depending on what purpose needs serving, often based on a warning from the child's authority figure 
The term boogeyman is sometimes used as a nonspecific personification or metonym for terror, and is in some cases the devil. Well, that seems logical. Um, if a man is covered in boogers, he is the devil. You heard it here first, folks. Um, the devil wears boogers. Not Prada, okay? Um, I think we, we, we've uncovered a pretty big uh, revelation here that not only are boogers disgusting, um, they get stuck on your fingers while you're in traffic trying to be cool. Um, driving and texting they are delicious i mean they taste like crap they don't don't eat them for starters or for seconds <laughs> they're more of a third course kind of kind of delicacy <laughs> anyway the boogers must be stopped the thing that's interesting about boogers boog boo Booger. Booger. Let's really get into it, okay? I want you to say it with me. Booger. 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 So they're both, it's a two syllable word. Okay, we can denote that for sure. And just to be just to be sure, I wanted to take it through a, a test, the syllable test. Okay. Booger, booger, booger. Yep, definitely. There's definitely two syllables. Um, the first syllable, boo, is one of the scarier ones, um, definitely, that I've ever heard. What about you, Mr. Joker? Mm. Ah, so, so scary. Thank you. Thanks. You heard that? I agree. I agree. It is. Now, the boo is definitely a terrifying word. Um, But I think more than that, the gur denotes aggressivity, which aggressivity is not one of my favorite qualities in booze, but it's not my least favorite not quality in booze. So I'd like to I'd like to possibly think that if we enhance the gur and decrease the boo, we may get more of a positive word. So let's give that a try, okay? We're decreasing the boo and increasing the gur. <clears throat> booger. 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 I like that. It's not, it's not, I like it, okay? Uh, it, I do enjoy the way that sounds. What if we enhance the boo... And also enhance the gur. Booger! Booger! Hmm. That's just me yelling booger in my closet. Some people enjoy that. <laughs> what? What did you say? Hold on, hold on. I'm just saying, ah, uh, boga is a fun word. Some people like to see the boogers burn. It's a little chaos. <laughs> oh. uh, Heath Ledger's Joker poster. You're drunk. You've been drinking. No drinking. Sober. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, booger. Booger. Bugger. Bugger. 
Okay, let's let's say it in different dialects. Australian. Oi, oi, yeah. Let's eat a boogie. Let's eat a boogie. It's all right. I like to eat some boogies. Or I'll uh, I'll uh, have a uh, I'll have a uh, what he's having, a plate of boogies, 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 boogie, boogies. That's Australian. Let's try Irish. Oh, did he? Oh, there. Look at these boogers. Oh, there's the boogers. They look great. Maybe I'll have a couple boogers. That's pretty good. Um, French. Uh -huh. The boogers are the most tasty thing I've had all week. Uh, yeah, that's uh, definitely French. Um, Japanese. Oh, you, you eat all my boogers. You dishonor my booger family, my booger man family. <laughs> anyway, um, the word booger. Let's let's read more upon the word. The word could also be linked to many similar words in other Indo-European. Um, so boogle is Scots. Bo bogle. Scottish, Irish, Scottish. Oh, the potatoes, you know, that's, that's Irish. I can't do Scottish. I can't do it. Scott? I can't do it, Captain. We can't do it, Cap. <laughs> we can't. There's not enough booger power. Boogle. Boogle power. That's pretty good Scottish. Um, German. Boozman. Norwegian is Bo Bowmond. There's lots of different. South Asian. In South Southeast Asia, the term is popularly supposed to refer to Bugis or Boganese, pirates, ruthless seafarers of southern Sulawesi, Sulawesi, Indonesia's third largest island. These pirates often plagued early English and Dutch trading ships of the British East India Company and Dutch East India Company. It is popularly believed that this resulted in European sailors bringing their fear of the boogeymen back to their home countries. However, etymologists disagree with this because words relating to boogeymen were in common use centuries before European colonization of the southeast and of Southeast Asia. All right, that's about that's boogeyman. Well, um what I'm interested um because what I've heard about boogers is that they like to stick together. <laughs> They're a community-based um, conglomerate, if you will. They they bond together as if they spent a weekend at a camp for men only who all are victims of uh, crimes against each other. And they shared this common bond to recreate how it feels to be uh, loved in the woods. And now that they come, have come out of the woods, they feel spiritually recharged. And they are ready to um, stick together and they can face the world in all of its calamities, no matter how difficult, how powerful, how uh, terrifying, how uh, monstrosorous, how be bedazzled, mastered, how uh, angs are pasted, how, how, however boogered they may feel. And the, bo the, the main thing we, we've learned about boogers is that they are, uh, let's recap. Shall we? Boogers are made from us. And by us, I mean um, raccoon dust. They are uh, built out of space semen um, when stars masturbate. They are uh, created forlorn in a volcano of uh, in, in perpetu in perpetuous uh, gratuity nudity violence on the planet uh, rated R movie and they come together and create goodwill for people by um, somehow magically appearing in our noses 
if you ever thought you were incapable of creating anything, I want you to I, I want you to take your finger right now. Take your finger. And I want you to plunge it into your nostril with grace and veracity. And I want you to pull a boot, the gold-encrusted boogeyman that layeth upon thou finger. And I want you to remember that not only are boogers good for you, they are made from you. Because you are starred semen. And when I say semen, I mean of the deepest, most guttural contraption potentially known to ghost everywhere. The boogie man cometh. I'm, I'm just saying. Booger is an interesting word. It's an interesting word. Mucus, slimy, sticky, an English word, possibly from the root uh, bogey or bogurt, which I had some bogurt earlier. Low fat, good protein. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And I think you will too. Um, again, we're going to end like we always do with a... Uh, freestyle rap with the word booger. Um, this is totally off the top of the dome where all of the good raps live. Uh, so here it goes. Hey, man, look at my nose. It's top of the game. It's top of them hoes. Boogers in my nose. Boogers on my toes. Everybody has to go to the place named Joe's to get some coffee. And eat some toffee. They will serve you a scone. But you must pre-order to own. And then once you get home, you know what will happen. You'll go to the bathroom and you'll start pip-papping in your nose. Out of your nose, a booger will come and land on. It'll be froze because it's cold. Out here for a player and a pimp When he's walking down the street And he's walking with a limp He can't even stand Because his leg is broken Somebody call the ambulance He must be smoking He can't even see now Because the weed made him blind He was smoking on that chronic And that is a crime still But if he has medical card He won't go to jail Instead, he'll have an officer uh, post his bail. And once in a while, he'll be at his house thinking about the time he was spitting out his mouth, lost in crime, worried about doing time. And he'll put his finger in his nose and he'll pick out the boogies because... Boogies are those. What? What? Did you just hear that? I'm pretty sure that's the platinum record. Anyway, uh, this has been On Words. With your host, Matt Whiteside, all, as always, coming to you um, recorded in front of... Uh, a poster of the Joker with uh, a box behind me. You're going to want to make sure you keep on watching because, you know, the next episode is going to be even even better. Um, on the next episode of Onward, we'll be talking about the word um, bird. Bird is the word. I Somebody gave me that word. Uh, today. So, 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. If you have, I, I want to hear from you. That's what I want to do. I want to hear from you. Give me your best word, and I will teach you about it in the best way I know how with sense, logic, um, magic, and profanity. So those four keys to successful knowledge acquisitions, acquisition, act, Aqueducts, attitude, altitude, aptitude, ineptitude. Okay. Thanks for watching and listening. And I'll talk to you later. Probably bye. Oh, don't forget, read my book, Infinity's Mirror, The Incredible Red Smiley, Infinity's Mirror, available on Amazon. Also, check out everything I've ever done. Bye.